Keith Arthurton, the last batting specialist, in at number five, an average of just under 30. Of the recognised batsman, although of course Roger Harper would have a thing to say about that, but he is an all-rounder. Keith Arthurton, it's three for 25 off his six. Has he gone? Yes, he has. That's the end of Arthurton. And it's me from the batsman. It is spinning away as well. That is a wrong delivery. That is a marvellous delivery again. And uh, that one is angling. It. Campbell has got him. And Arthurton has gone for one. And Strang has struck again. His fourth wicket. A wrong one. And uh, he's been doing that with a lot of success. He's bowled with a lot of perfection. The ball taking the glove. Yeah. Hitting the wicketkeeper's glove and taken brilliantly at first level. Wonderful piece of reactions from Campbell. Because as you say, it was just knocked away by Flower. All the other Keenan players. Just a touch of up the engine there. That could be close. Arthur than taking on the fieldsman and it's a direct hit. We'll have to wait for the replay. Oh yes, the Keenans are definitely on their toes. They're very quick on everything. But at this occasion, he just plays in within the square and goes for that single. The fielder from extra cover, really very quick onto the ball, picks it up, and a marvellous piece of fielding. Yes, he's gone. Well, look at that, look at that jubilation, look at the cane inside. Four West Indian batsmen gone, just for... And follow that wicket. And he's playing the extended batting lineup today. out there and another LBW so the Australians are right back into this game he's been brought on quite possibly as uh, Ian Chuckle pointed out because the left hander was in he'd be spinning away from him the left hander Keith Arthur would recognize that uh, that was a very good piece of bowling from Mark Gore in fact it turned out to be the one that goes straight on perfectly straight on and only for the pad intercepting it, it would have hit middle and off about three parts. And 96 for six. That's up in the air, it's gone a long way up in the air. And he's gone. Well, if I've ever seen a brainless cricket shot, Michael. That's three overs. For the two balls left to the ball. All they needed was tall. The West Indies have been going along very well. 230 runs off 40. That was it. There was absolutely no need for that at anything close to a runner ball. But instead we got this, looking to hit a six, and only succeeding in hitting it straight up into the air. A long way up, and of course anything that goes up has got to come down, and it finds Hudson. 230 for six. I have to say that he's uh, had a pretty ordinary time of it. One against Zimbabwe, one against South Africa, a duck against Kenya, a duck against Australia first time round, and here he is. Well, Keith Arthurton's uh, out there, and those are his figures. When... It's got him, caught behind, yes, he's had a go, that's it, caught behind, taken by Healy. They're in the air, the Aussies, they've got themselves a lot. Arthurton also trying to smash it out of the ground, a huge nick, he's having... This game's not over yet. A nightmare with a bat. This is how it happened. Big edge through to wicket keeper Healy, and it's all over. Barthaton, that is. I can't help but think that the 187 for 7.